cleaning parts, especially the bearings. Let's get this back in there for a sec. I'm just cleaning this part here, and what I usually do is take um, some cleaner thinners than this, but anyways, and just give it a rub with the brush. You'll see how quick this goes. And you usually have dirt in these um, edges in here. Oops, sorry, I'm facing the way. You just put the brush in there, right? And at this stage, it's already cleaning up a little, as you can see. And then I put it in the back, clean the toothbrush out, and then put it in the back of the um, of the bearing and give it a quick rub. There's no need to take it out. Sometimes you actually do more damage than good taking these things out, so then it's wiped on that side a bit. And I just keep cleaning it until it's really clean. There isn't that much to it, is there? So it's getting there. still giving you trouble cleaning it. I've got gloves on because I'm not great with thinners on my hands. Rubber gloves. You put a bit of your thinners in a old tuna can, which I collect for these things. Great for doing odd jobs in. I have another one here. I save them and right we'll put it up here so you can just see it's a little and you take your bearing and you flush it in there and actually if you look in you can see the, the liquid going dirty and then you can use your toothbrush to uh, run around in there like this. You'll see the color of this change quite a bit now. I might as well clean the inside of this unit as well while I'm at it. I'll do it again. This is just squicking the bearings around and when I pull it out you'll see how easy that was. There we go and look at the color right and look at how clean those bearings look. Now you just give it a wipe down with a really clean cloth which I have here. I have a roll of them. Let's quickly do that so you can see this. Right, and I'll do it in the inside as well. Quick rub. And now you can put some WD-40 in there to make yourself feel good. I never liked running anything dry when I'm starting out, you know, testing something. I don't want to run it dry, so I put a little bit in there and then afterwards I'll put oil into the hub until it's flooded. So there you go. That's pretty good. I think that's ready to go. That's how you clean these things. You clean your shafts and everything else the same way. You don't have to pry this out and destroy this cap here on the bearing. You just leave it alone, wash it in there. There's no pits in those bearings. They're fine. I have another piece here. I'll pull it in a little. And it has a washer still on it. So that washer goes here after the sprocket. And then you put this here. And now we have the coupling unit which needs washing as well, which I'm going to put it in as well, seeing it was such a good job. Right, and we'll get the toothbrush in the one side. Look at that. That was already pretty clean, but now it's spotless. Feel better about it. Let's take the can down before I knock it. And let's just wipe this out a bit, as you can see. It's looking, I need a little bit more cleaning the edge here, but it's looking pretty clean. And spray my oil in there. Right, and she's ready to go. Now I gotta clean the other two parts here. This is the dust cap. And this is just a washer on top of it, which need cleaning and then go back on here. And here we have this one. Very clean. I'm just gonna give that a wipe. Make sure there's no dirt on it and just clean that with this oil. And I think that's good enough for that. I don't think there's much else you need to do to it. 